Okay, so I've, I've decided what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to leave the Argonians to their privacy, I think. Uh, I don't honestly know whether or not they kind of trust me enough for me to presume that I'd be able to sleep inside one of their huts or something. And um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to respect their privacy and move away and camp somewhere nearby, but not actually here in, in the village, you know. Um, I wouldn't mind the protection offered by a village full of Argonians, uh, but at the same time, I don't particularly want the mad shaman stabbing me in my sleep, you know. So, holy, holy god, what the hell is going on? Oh boy. Goodness me, I ain't never seen it do that before. That a bit strange, weren't it? Who are? Um, let's just carry on where we left off and hope it doesn't do that again. Whatever the freaking hell that was. Um, I hope it's not got something to do with bandit cam. That would suck. I don't see why it would, but it, you never know. Oh god, it's doing it again. If, what's going on? My frame rate is dropped, and uh, you know what? I'm gonna quick save. I don't know if the game really likes this little bit of terrain here. I sense bad things. The dark side is strong in this place. Yeah. I tell you what, it seems to happen, this, every single time I start a new recording session. It's quite weird. I think the last two times I think I've done this, um, it's happened to me. Like, what will happen is I will start recording, and then I will start running along, in the direction of wherever the hell I'm meant to be going. And then the game will start crashing after I reach a sort of certain kind of area of terrain. And the only way I can get past it is by sh shutting the recording off and running through that area and then starting the recording. Like here, I've just gone, literally all I've done is walked a bit further along this wooden planky thing here. So you see the villages over there in the distance. I'm stood down here. And everything is funky dory, but for some reason, if we walked along that little bit there, the game is just like, no, 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 not having it. Sorry, not going on. It's not happening. So I don't know what that's all about. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, boy. What? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. This looks awfully familiar. Oh, look where we are. If this is not our former campsite, it's very close to it, because I remember this bit. Huh. Uh, the village was just over there the whole time. I didn't even realise, that's kind of funny. Oh uh, well. Yeah, see look, there's a bunch of... Yes, dead bandits and mages down there. We've definitely been here before. <laughs> okay, well. We appear to be back on track, at least. However, still need to find somewhere to sleep. I might just sleep back up here again, then, in that case. I was going to sleep, um... Just over there, on the opposite side of the lake to the village, but actually, eh, screw it. There's a perfectly good, perfectly serviceable campsite up the road here, so you know what? Let's just keep in this place again. And we'll head back down here, this road, towards the vi I saw something moving over to the right there. I saw something. What the hell was it? That's the question. Oh, it's a some random bloke. A wolf that is in a trance, apparently. Who are you? Have my ear, oh, an Imperial Legion I Ranger. The evening watch, and all's well. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, too. Well, oh, I'll be on my way. Whoever it was that said in the comments previously, actually, that foresters um, in this game are practically red coats. <laughs> Sorry, not red coats, red shirts. Yeah, you were quite right. The number of dead guys, dead foresters we've seen is a little bit ridiculous. Um, try to find something maybe under a tree. It offers a little bit of protection from the elements. A teeny tiny bit of protection from the elements, you know. Um, oh Christ. Protection from much more than the elements. Oh boy. Okay. What have we got? Two freaking... You've got to be ki Oh, my... They're, at <laughs> they're after the forester. Who'd thunk it? Oh no, they're not. Okay, they're coming this way. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right. They shall slay thee. Foul demons. 
Which is what they are, essentially. Should really just kill that guy, shouldn't I? I'm not thinking straight, am I? Uh, hey! Yeah, he's got some sort of magic-y shield. I think he has, cheeky bastard. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, enough of this. Little bastards, right. Okay, I'll show you who's boss. <coughs> Ah, yeah, ouch, I've been poisoned. I think I have a potion to deal with this shit, though. Potion of cure poison. Oh, thank you. Okay, it's... Okay, it's a magic poison. It doesn't work like that. Um... Yeah! Cheeky shits. Die! I, I said die. Come on. Thank you. Goodness me. Oh, we didn't hit the forester guy, did we? No, he's cool. He's just stood around watching, like, what the hell's going on here? Well, I just saved your life, buddy. Ooh. Goodies. Wow. Nice, 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 nice. Good for soul gems, though, really. It's it's less soul gem power I'm worried about, and more about actually just repairing my damn equipment. Ugh. Practically carrying around a bag of junk formerly known as weapons at this rate. Not a terrible amount of fun. Ugh, I'm fussing over a campsite still. This will do. This over here, this little spot here is good. This is fine. This is nice. And I love this stuff. It looks so damn cool. Okay, where's the bone roll got to? Ugh. I need to try and re reinstall Dynified UI at some point. Uh, I really do. It also really help if people stopped telling me to install it, uh, actually, because um, it would seem to imply you've not actually been watching the Let's Play properly, because I've stated on numerous occasions why I do not have Dynified UI installed. The reason why I do not have it installed is because it doesn't seem to want to install properly. Like, the installer and all that kind of shit will run. Same for BT mod, actually, before anyone suggests that. Um, I can run the installer, get everything kind of hunky-dory, as, as it would seem. You boot up the game, and then nothing happens. Everything is still the same. All the menus are just as they were. And I don't know how to sort it out, frankly. And I don't think I care enough to actually sort it out, so... Uh, need light. Need some light. Up in here. Uh, there we go. What? Where did... Oh, I guess droplet torches doesn't work with staffs, huh? Fine. There we go. That's more like it. Again, unfortunately, since there's no real campfire mod or anything, I just have to make do with a lit torch. I mean, it seems dumb, but it kind of... I just... I, do, I think it's weird, like, just going to bed in the dark like that. Just on a random hillside. It seems a bit odd. Without something to represent at least a campfire. Um, you create the campfire, quote unquote. Do not keep rolling away, though. Please stay put. No, don't set the bedroll on fire. That would not be clever. Right there. Stay. Stay. Thank you. Now then. Food. And also alchemy, probably. But mainly food. Bread loaf. How are we doing on food? We have... Oh, we just ate bread. We've got a carrot, a cheese wedge, four sticks of corn. Stick of corn? Is that really the right word? Cobs, isn't it, really? Four cobs of corn, I suppose. Um, a shit ton of seeds if you get really desperate. Uh, a lettuce, a whole lettuce. Four onions. And um, that's actually it. I guess we could use a mandrake root as an impromptu yam, but I'd rather not, in all honesty. They're more useful than that. Uh, okay, onion, raw onions, lovely, by the way. Uh, and and uh, one of these corn thingies. Uh, and we should probably eat the cheese before it goes bad as well. Um, and possibly the carrot before it goes to bed. Ah, uh, we'll save that for tomorrow night. Carrots. Yeah, carrots when they go bad, for those of you who don't know, they go bendy. If you ever come across a bendy carrot in your fridge, don't cook it. It's gone. It's dead, Jim. Throw it away. Uh, 
random bit of cooking related trivia there. Uh, for no real apparent reason. Uh, now, uh, let's, let's go to sleep. Or, oh, actually, no, let's not go to sleep. Let's alchemize. Now, then, is there anything vaguely useful in here? But these do invisibility, as do these. Two invisibility for 21 seconds on itself. Interesting! Excellent! They could be quite useful if I ever have to sneak into somewhere. I'm not saying I will, but uh, you never know, do you? Hmm. It's been a long time since I played as the thief character, actually. I love trying to sneak into the big castles and rob the places. That was always good fun. Stealth improved so much over going over from Morrowind to Oblivion. Um, it was quite cool. One of my first characters with the sneak thief on this game suddenly became a viable option, you know. Uh, there's nothing here, really, is there? Yeah, I, this is one of the things I have to... There's many reasons I don't like Vanilla Oblivion. But one of the good things... One of the things it really did have going for it was its up updated stealth mechanics. Because, let's face it, the stealth in Mario was, was atrocious. It honestly was. You know, made all the more pointless by the fact that NPCs never moved around. You know, that's probably the killer thing with that game. How can you rob people's houses if they're constantly 24 hours a day standing in that one spot? How how do you actually do it? Like, there's nowhere to sneak up and knock the guys out either. So you can't incapacitate them and rob them blind, either. You can kill them, I suppose. You can like actually r outright murderize them, but that's the best you're gonna get, really, at the end of the day. Right, let's put away our shit. Uh, from you. I have not forgotten about the warlock um, torch, by the way. I'm just not using it because. It's more useful, less useful for the fact that it gives off light, and more useful for the fact that it gives us a feather effect when we start using it. So, and since I don't know whether or not it runs out like a normal torch, I'm not going to use it as much as I can, unless I need to. Um, anyway, equipping that seems like such a bleeding waste. Uh, I don't like, I don't like the the area effect it has. That's the main thing. That's kind of because I don't want it it's like. That could be really messy in a fight where there's uh, friendly NPCs around. Um, really messy, in fact. That's just—I think we'll just recharge this. Really, it's the best bet we've got. I could use the warlock staff, I suppose, but it's got eight uses left, and it seems a bit OP for just the random wolf or so. Um, speaking of, I'm kind of debating on whether or not to lower the difficulty again slightly. Um, I know this is kind of—I know I keep flip-flopping over this, but. I'm kind of a little bit getting a little teeny weeny bit frustrated that even my big powerful staffs that's supposed to be nukers actually aren't doing their job as nukers, you know. The you know, I know they 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 it seems overpowered, but the thing is they it's balanced mainly not by the fact that they do less damage when you put it on a on a, diff, on a different difficulty. The main re reason they're balanced in the first place is because you don't get any skill increases from using a magical staff like you do if you're using an ordinary magical spell and that's the important thing really um, yes it's great to use the staff but it's not going to give me any more destruction skill if I keep using the staff so I need to rely on my spells anyway so I kind of feel like nerfing their damage is not really helping a lot because it's essentially making well, it means it changes the role of them from being a nuker for powerful ele powerful enemies and just turning them into a standard weapon, which is not what it's meant to be. And it also renders my little spells pretty much worthless. But I don't know. I might just change the slider slightly in a second. However, in the meantime... Where the hell is it? There it is. It's better. And do, 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 do. escape options gameplay. Yeah, let's lower it a little bit. There we go. It's probably more like it. It's amazing how much a teeny weeny difference on that bar makes. Actually, it really is. Um, but I like the fact that there is a bar there. It allows you to balance your own game very, very finely. You know, that's that's what I. I, I shift and E. Yeah, there we go. 
I'll remember it first time one day. Um, and I do like that. I, I'm not a fan of the way in Skyrim they diluted the difficulty in those into those different settings. Um, I, I liked having the bar. It's a lot more organic. You can tweak it very, very slightly if you feel the game is slightly too hard um, without having to sort of go up an entire tier, if, if you like. Um, I was a big fan of the whole bar system. I don't really know why they got rid of it, to be honest, but never mind. Um, there seems to be a big desire to simplify in the URL of the Scrolls games, and uh, you know what? That's probably not a can of worms I really want to open. If you want to watch a good video on the subject of Elder Scroll, the Elder Scrolls games, uh, in terms of quote unquote dumbing down, I think Samuel Online did a pretty excellent one. Wow, the game really hates that patch of terrain, doesn't it? Ugh, I don't know why that is. We just keep to be keep seem to be running across these little random spots in the landscape that the, that will inevitably crash the game if we happen to be recording at the time. I don't really know why it does that. It just it just does. Um, if anyone has some informed advice they'd like to give on the subject, then feel feel free. Um, Anyway, uh, allow me to pause the recording momentarily while I just get past this stupid bit here. And welcome back to Let's Crash Oblivion with Jingles. Uh, we've made it past the problem patch of terrain. Funnily enough, it actually crashed the game when I tried to pause the recording instead of outright stop it as well. So, just, what the, I don't know what the friggin' hell is wrong over there, but there's something amiss. In any case, why are you standing on that plank like that, madam? It's very odd. Um, anyway. As I was, I believe, saying, actually, you know what, I just checked some of the older footage and I realised that the the music volumes are teensy, weensy a bit loud, actually, on some of the tracks anyway, It'll probably change later, but anyway, save I and I, thank you, oh, hang on a minute, hang on, one cotton picking, minute, no, 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 that's where I left it, okay, despite the game crashing, that's very odd, it saves the gameplay options, but it doesn't save the audio and video. Huh. Anyway, oh, there's a fort over there, and much as I suspected, this landscape looks bloody awesome in the broad daylight. But anyway, let's see if we can... The road sort of ends here, unfortunately, which is a little bit annoying. Um, we can keep going this way. I need to get rid of that map marker as well because it's useless to us now. This way across the Panther River, but unfortunately there's a big ass cliff in the way which doesn't help very much. I might have just had to, well, climb it, I guess. And by climb I mean jump around like fucking Mario for ages because this is the Elder Scrolls, you know. And the terrain is like that in these games. Anyway, as I think I was saying, if you want a good video on the subject of The Elder Scrolls and how they've changed over the years, the games that is, um, then yeah, go go have a look at Samuel Online's one that he did. Assess skeletons, really? Fine. How are you not dead? How are you not dead? <coughs> well, you are a skeleton guardian, I suppose. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have no ma ma mana, 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 magicka. I'm also out of welcome stones, it would appear. What the hell? Where did that come from? Oh, I cannot for your freaking annoying shenanigans. Uh, these will do. Why are you still alive? You need to die. Oh Christ, I have no idea who's just who who's who. Right, you need to Really? Out of charge again already. Whatever what can I use instead? What can I use instead? I have the sword which I am not able to use. I'm quite dedicated to that little aspect of the RP, thanks. I guess I've got these guys to do my killing for me, but even so. Lesser water golem. Oh, well thanks for that loot, at least. 
These guys are the fucking useless bastards. Oh great, and there's more. And there is more. Where? Who? Just get over here now so we can get on with this. Hello, you little shit. Come on. Yes. I tell you what, actually, I went to see Skyfall today, and you jumped up little shit is probably one of my favourite lines from the entire film. Granted, a little bit of context is probably needed, but I laughed so goddamn much. That was hilarious. Um, now then. Keep going this way. What the hell's... Oh, imps. Imps. Lovely. Lovely imps. Yeah, get lost. Not interested. <clears throat> now then. Getting back to my original topic. Yeah, Samuel Online did a very, very good video, etc, etc, etc. I think it's called El The Elder Scrolls The Dumbing Down. Go and type it into your YouTube bar or whatever, because I will inevitably forget to put the link in the description. So, uh, yeah, go check that out. It's cool. It's good. I'm going to quick save, because my frame rate's dipping. And... Oh, scenery still looks goddamn nice. Even if it is a bit crash happy. Um... Yeah, yeah, it's a good video. I can't honestly say I 100% agree with everything he says in it, but I can appreciate the, the the format he's gone to do. He's decided to do it in, and the amount of effort he's gone into pro presumably put making the damn thing as well. So, yeah, it's definitely worth worth a look. Something I may touch on perhaps myself in the future if there's ever any ever any great demand for it. I mean, generally speaking, when it comes to my content, I tend to oh, God damn it, I generally tend to stick to actual gameplay. Um, you know, whether it's one of these let's plays or whether it's the junk draw or something. But I don't know. Opinion pieces? Is that something people would be interested in? No idea. I kind of spout off my random opinions in my videos as it is, I guess. Uh, what do we do with you, precisely? How the hell am I running out of magic so freaking quickly? This is ridiculous. Goodbye. Okay, you don't have much health at all, actually. Away with you. Sit down, that's right. Healings. Again, at low... It's a good thing we've got loads of magic potion, that's all I'll say. I really need to... Why am, why am I even holding this bloody staff? I mean, I can't honestly be bothered to recharge it again. I really can't. And I move faster with with it uh, with it um, on my back, you know. Also, Hood, why are you up? You're not meant to be up. You're meant to be down. Hello, Black Bear. Honestly, in this entire little encounter, I think you were the innocent victim. I won't take your hide. You may let you may rest in relative dignity. Now then, what have we got? An alien ruin, huh? Well, I do need Wilkin stones. And yes, this is yet another detour on our long, 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 long ass road to Leowin, but it kinda has to be done and what the devil's going on here? Okay, dead imps a dead boar. Piece of meat I shall butcher. Um and a, and a, and a, ooh, altar. Oh, it's necromancy altar. I, it's one of these things. You put a soul gem in there, it turns into a black soul gem at a certain time of night on a certain day of the week or something. I don't quite remember how it works. Um, I'm not sure Idris would, Idris is not familiar with necromancy, so I don't think this is something he would be uh, literate in, exactly. I mean, he knows what it is. He's seen these things before, of course, but he doesn't really know how it works precisely. However, this place looks like it's full of rogue necromancers, which could, in Idris's eyes at least, be either enemies or friends. It really depends. But we kind of need to go in here. So either way, you know, I will get this out just because it allows me to block. Now I think about it, I might break the bloody thing in the process, but never mind. I do need a block somehow. Especially in confined quarters like this. And then 
Now might, in theory, be a good time to sneak and use some of those invisibility potions I cooked up, but I don't know if it's really worth it. I think I'm going to save those for when we're sneaking around and cannot afford to actually kill the people that will potentially catch us, like guards, for example. I have no idea why we would be, would be sneaking around trying to avoid town guards, but we may... Oh. Lovely. Oh, that's just brilliant, isn't it? Look, I, I, have, a, I have a bunch of battered up equipment and a whole bunch of staffs that don't even work on ghosts. And look what happens to be in here. Ghosts. Well, there's a chest over there at least. We get to the... Oh, there's freaking dudes everywhere. Oh, I wonder if we can get away with a telekinesis spell without getting spotted. Because I do have one now, which is good. Perfect. Manipulation! Come here. Maybe. Come on! Stupid thing. I've almost forgotten how you free even use Welkin Stones, to be honest. Um, I mean, use Telekinesis. Um. Yeah. There's a way to do this, I swear there is. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what it is, though. What's that? Oh, you didn't hear anything. You heard nothing. What's that? Yeah, you didn't hear a damn thing. Shut up. Yeah. Well, that sort of did the trick, I suppose. Hello? Who's there? Hello? Who's there? Well, our sneak's increasing, at least, which is kind of good, because that'll give us magical sneak attack bonuses in the future. I don't think we're close enough, are we, for that to work? There's no way I can take her out without alerting this ghostly fellow over here. I should really decide quickly before she freaking spots me. You know what? Let's just pause. Let's see. Uh, okay, so we've got the casket over there, which may or may not contain a bunch of stuff. More importantly, we've got all these welkin stones around here, which probably are useful to us. I don't think we have any... Well, the fire, fire damage, for a start, doesn't work on ghosts, also. Yeah. Fire damage doesn't work on ghosts. Not these ghosts, anyway, for some stupid reason. Frost damage definitely doesn't work on them. The Staff of Thunderbolts would work on them a bit, but... That's the same with the Warlock Staff, but the problem is... From our, judging from our last encounter, these guys actually reflect magical damage because they're assholes. Um, so I'm a bit of a, a loss of what as to what to do really. Right, well, let's see if we can take her out at least. Die. Okay, you have quite a bit of health. Oh, not to see you though. Oh, you gotta tell you. See, look, 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 look at that, friggin' reflecting effect. That's really annoying. Get out of here. Why did I just use telekinesis on her? I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh oh, Let's get out. Let's give ourselves some more room. That'll probably take him like half a minute or so to follow us out here. What the hell? Okay. Apparently you somehow magically got out of here ahead of us. Burn to death. I demand it. Get burning. Or dying. Or any of the above. Thank you. Ouch. That was bloody painful, that were. Now then, what have you got? Putrid hand robe and a Dwayma mace. Well, isn't that just lovely? Useless crap. So what? Uh, what's happened to your ghost friend then? Oh, he's there. <laughs> Hello. Ow! Ow! Okay. Do not taunt the ghost. Mental note. How could I not get up here? This is. These are steps. You meant to be able to get up there. Thanks, game designers. Thanks a bunch. Ouch! Stop knocking me back, you bastard. 
and dodging all my stuff. That's kind of annoying. Too. That's right, fall in the hole because you're an idiot. You are a fool. And you're a ghost. At least we're absorbing magic from this, I suppose, every time he reflects it. Well, half of the time he reflects it. Ow. Oh. Hey, that's more like it. There we go. Although, if that had reflected back at us, that would have been quite catastrophic. <laughs> oh dear. Now then. 